Hi everyone. Um, right, this is my I am a Wargamer response video. Um, thank you very much for to Fraser, VK, Von Ketchikum, for, for the nomination. Um, I'll get to my nominations a bit later. Um, right, so, first things first. First question. What inspired you to do YouTube? Um, um, I don't know really. I, was, I, I think. I started watching a few people, um, like Fraser, British Legion, Ringo, various people like that. Um, at the time, I think I was, I got into Flames of War originally after several, quite a few years out of any kind of wargaming. And I was trying to, I think I was trying to do some airbrushing and I'd never done it before. So I tried to look up a tutorial and then I started watching a few bits and pieces, this, that and the other. Um, and then I, I don't know why I suddenly thought, right, I'm going to do a video of my own. And it was a little bit hit and miss, I think, the first couple. But, yeah, I sort of, I decided after, I'm going to show everyone what I've done and use it really as a motivational tool for myself. Sorry about these lights. Um, use it as a motivational tool for myself. Um, and... So if I tell someone, all of you lot out there, oh, I'm going to do a battalion of French, and then I don't do it for months and months and months, it sort of it sort of motivates me to get, right, okay, I've said that I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Sometimes, obviously, it doesn't work, but, sometimes, but most of the time it does, and I find it quite good to keep me motivated and on track and determined to get it done. Because sometimes, I mean, there's sometimes I've fallen off the wagon, Notably with my um, French chasseurs of the line that still have not been done because I don't know what it is about them. I just can't do them. But um, but most of the time I do keep on track, get stuff done and everything like that. So, yeah, that's all that. Uh, right. Where, where do you want your channel to go? I'm oh, sorry, this is going to be a boring answer. Same as most people's. Nowhere. I'm perfectly happy where it is. Um, I like doing it. And I like... Um, I like putting videos up and getting the comments back and replying to the comments and all this sort. So, I mean, so long as that carries on, my channel's not going to change. It's just, that's what it's going to be. Um, so just carrying on as normal. Sorry about that. A bit boring. Um, where can you see your channel in five years' time? Well, that's sort of the same. Yeah, well, as it is now, but with more armies. Because in five years' time, I'm hoping I've done loads and loads and loads. So, um, yeah. Yeah, same as it is now. So, any advice on setting up a YouTube channel? Um, yeah, just go for it. Just go for it. Um, doesn't matter. Most people have got decent enough quality phones. Now you don't need all the laughing, all the dancing, the five grand's worth of microphones and lighting and cameras and all this. So I just get your phone, make a tit of yourself on the screen and put it out there. Someone will watch it and then you'll eventually just... So long as you enjoy doing it, it doesn't matter. That's my advice. Um, right, what would you add to improve YouTube for the community? Right, there's only one thing I'd add, and I think it's been said a number of times before, it's this dislike button. You press dislike, fine, you didn't like it, great. Either at least have the common courtesy to say why you didn't like it, or if you press the dislike, it has to, automatically comes up that you have to comment. Because then, um, it, it, not name and shame, but because there's quite a few people out there who take dislikes for people for whatever reason. Um, and they just start, I think the term is trolling. And they just start dislike, dislike, dislike. 
even when nothing there is nothing there to dislike. Um, constructive comments. If you don't like something for whatever reason, whether it's whether it's somebody's painted a I don't know an English Napoleonic figure in bright pink, and you disagree with it, well, it's his figure. So what? You don't like it? Don't watch it. No need to be negative for just being negative's sake. That's my that's my thing. And if you do press the dislike button, I think it should automatically come up that you have to make a comment. But that's it. I think most people have said the same thing. Um, and that's it. So, yeah. And thanks to Spud for putting this out there. Good idea, mate. Good idea. Um, and my nominations are... Um, first one is to a fellow who lives quite close to me, actually. And hasn't put a video up for a while. Um, is that Dig H? So, sort of a bit of a bit of a nudge. Come on, Dig. Let's see what you're up to. Um, and then another one is from I think he's from Holland or Belgium or somewhere like that. Sorry if I've got it wrong. And that's Helgast 470. Does some lovely Napoleonic stuff. Um, so I'd like that. I mean, he's. I think he's relatively new, about a year, possibly. So, be nice to ha hear his points. And then the last one is another newish one, I think. Um, Paintbrush Pirate, which, again, he's got some, I think he's got some Napoleonics and maybe some Lord of the Ringy type stuff and things like that. So that would be good to see all those three. Um, obviously, just to hear your point of view. Anyway, thanks for all of that, um, and I will be doing an update fairly sh short, shortly, um, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.